This is the last phase of European colonization. And uh, notice that the countries that are most strongly in support of Israel are not just the United States. It's the United States, Australia, and Canada, the offshoots of England, Anglosphere sometimes called, unusual forms of imperialism. These are settler colonial societies, colon societies in which the, not like India, not like the British in India say, the societies in South Africa was a little like this, or Algeria under the French, settler colonial societies in which the settlers came in essentially eliminated the native population, also driven by uh, religious principles, very religious groups driven by Christian Zionism. Those are major cultural factors. Nearly one million Muslims in Yemen chant death to America. Get right with God, he's coming. to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone rule well, peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth, and shalom to you few sincere sisters out there as well, it's brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson here, I'm going to start here at Job 20 and 19, because he have oppressed and have forsaken and have forsaken the poor, because he had violently taken away in house, which he built it not, you know, and that's that's Esau's M.O. You know, he did it over here in the Americas and other spots in the world as, as well. This is what this man does. He's a colonizer, you know, and that Edomite knows that his so-called, uh, you know, supremacy is nearing its end, man. Okay, there's an Edomite on there saying that, you know straight out of Esau's mouth. So they know that their reign is, is coming to an end, man. They know uh, that it's pretty much over for them, man. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. And every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the heavenly father shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. And he shall flee from the iron weapon, right, which is these nuclear missiles that soon uh, to come over here, man. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall, terrors are upon him, and all darkness shall be hid in his secret places, a fire not blown shall consume him, it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle, and the heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him, right, and that's what's shown in the second video, even though at the bottom left, if you look, it says that it was AI generated, but still in all, this is the spirit that is on these other nations right now, man. Okay. These other nations that are against, uh, Babylon, the great, you know, the whore and soon the heavenly father is going to put the spirit on various nations, all nations, right. To rise up against Babylon, the great man. Okay, well, let's go to uh, let's go to Jeremiah real quick. 
Let's go to Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 50. Let's go uh, 13. Start at 13. And it says, Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Talking about what? Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. It will be desolate, man. This place is going to be a desolate uh, desert, man. A desolate wilderness. Never to be inhabited again. This place is about to be destroyed. And Esau knows this, man. Every, but his pride won't let him accept it. You know? Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at her plagues. Yeah, they'll be astonished because this is the so-called superpower of the earth. And yet, in one hour, this place will be taken out by Yahweh Shai and the angels and the missiles, man. A combination of all three or well, all four because, uh, you know, the concentrated uh, lasers, uh, concentrated fire from his chariots as well, man. Okay? In one hour... This place would be destroyed, man. Be a speedy riddance of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And it says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Right? This is Job uh, 20 and 27. You know, the earth shall rise up against her, man. And this is the earth uh, uh, rising up against her right now. In Jeremiah, the 50th chapter. You know, this prophecy is, is, is soon to come. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about, all ye that bend the bow, and shoot at her. Spare no arrows, right? Spare no arrows. If you go to uh, Revelation, the ninth chapter, starting at the, around the 16th verse, when it talks about the 200,000 horsemen, that's speaking about the missiles, man. And that's how many missiles are going to be a uh, shot over here, man. Okay, two hundred thousand times two hundred thousand is two hundred million, man. You know, it says uh, shout against her roundabout. Hold on, put yourself put start at fourteen. Put yourselves in array against Babylon roundabout. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. Okay, and this is the Lord putting the spirit on all these other nations to destroy this place, man, or to help <laughs> destroy this place, man, before they get put into captivity themselves, man. Shout against her roundabout. She have given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she have done do unto her. Okay? And Esau, you know, Esau knows what's coming, man. Esau knows it. They can't really mess with uh russia you know they try to put on a front for the people of america like you know yeah we got this we good ain't nothing gonna happen to us but uh inwardly they scared to death man okay because they know they don't have uh you know the military power that they once had you know they know they don't have it you know this place is through and today you know with that uh uh, people are saying it was a cyber attack against the, uh, you know, communications of the phones and, and all that, man. They uh, blaming it on China, of course, but we all know it was an inside job and it was a test run. That's what it was, okay? That's that's exactly what Esau is trying to do is, you know, uh, order out of chaos, man, okay? So they're going to create the chaos and then try to come up with some solution for order, you know, that everybody will uh, follow suit and do. This is what they're doing, okay? This is why the, uh, Job 20 says the Heavenly Father will rain it upon him uh, while he is eating, okay? So they're going to be in the midst of their meal, but they ain't going to be able to finish it, man, because the Heavenly Father is going to interrupt all of their plans. Let's get, um... Yeah. So in the midst of this happening... You know, you hear about them with the bunkers and all that. You know, all these people, uh, so-called millionaires, billionaires over here in the United States, uh, making these bunkers over here in the United States, uh, unbeknownst to them, are making their tombs, okay? Their graves, all right? Because 
when them missiles touch over here, they gonna be they gonna be fried up in those bunkers over there, man. Okay, but you know the the uh, so-called kings of the earth uh, that uh, the heavenly Father puts in their spirit for them to go elsewhere. The heavenly Father is ultimately saving them for slavery, so they're gonna be going to other lands with their bunkers, where them places are not going to be destroyed, right? So let's go there because ultimately when this place is destroyed, uh, it's going to be slavery uh, for Esau and these other nations. I'm starting 19. And it says, uh, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. And that day a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship, to the moles and to the bats, to go into the cleft of the rocks and into the tops of the ragged rocks for the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. You know, this place is going to rock to and fro uh, like a drunkard, as it says in the 24th chapter of Isaiah. And it is. Those those uh, those uh, those missiles are going to be felt uh, around the world, man. OK. Let me see here. Cause, yeah, it says to shake terribly the earth, right? So they're gonna go into these clefts of the rocks to hide, you know, from the Lord, to hide, to hide from, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai and 144,000 elect, okay? Because they know that punishment is coming for them. And these Esau, these Edomites, these Esau, these Edomites know, okay? They can feel it. You can look at an Edomite and see that they know their power is diminishing, man. It's not what it once was, okay? Because we know Job uh, 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And we know the story of uh, Esau, which was given the sword, right? And the fatness of the earth. And the modern day sword is a gun. Weaponry, okay? And no one knows about weaponry more than Esau Edom. And this is how he pretty much took over the whole earth, you know, with his weaponry. The Heavenly Father gave him gave him uh you know the wisdom to do so man scriptures say thou art wiser than daniel okay we all know how wise daniel was but the heavenly father gave esau you know power and wisdom on the left hand side to do wickedness throughout the earth to to uh to rule the earth you know but this man's time is up and this is what this dude was talking about in the video he knows that the end of white supremacy is nigh okay it's close. And these e these Edomites know it. Okay? So when it says to go into the cleft of the rocks, they're going to be hiding, you know, from Yahweh Shai, the 144 elect, because they know ultimately, ultimately they're going to be rounded up and taken into slavery, man. And that's what's going to happen. Let's get 24, Isaiah 24. Five. Let's uh, start at uh, let's start at nineteen, man. And it says the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and sh and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Okay? And what's their punishment? Slavery. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison and after many days shall they be visited. Okay? So that's what's going to happen when, you know, Yahweh Shai... 144,000, dig them up out of them rocks, okay, or out of the earth, 
okay, because they're going to be beneath the earth in bunkers, uh, thinking that they're going to survive. And uh, after everything is uh, said and done, they'll come back up and continue to rule in wickedness like they've been doing, okay? But that's not going to happen, okay? Because they're going to be dug out, right? They're going to be put in, in fetters of iron and shackles, okay? And they're going to be led down to this uh, this prison, man, okay? And it says, and after many days shall they be visited. So we don't know how long they're going to be uh, there, okay? But they're going to have more than enough time to, uh, you know, stay there in fear, not, not knowing uh, what is going to happen to them, okay? But when they are visited, because it says, uh, after many days shall they be visited, uh, what's going to happen? Okay, work detail. We're going to put your ass to work, man. Let's get Ezekiel. Let's get Ezekiel 39. We start at 11. It says, And it shall come to pass, and that they, in that day that I will give unto Gog a place thereof, graves in Israel, the valley of the passengers on the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses of the passengers, right? <laughs> And it shall stop the noses because those dead bodies is going to smell bad, man. Okay, it's going to be dead bodies and death everywhere, okay? It's going to be an arm over there, a, a leg over there, you know, a bottom half of a body, you know, over here, top half of the torso over there, okay? Splattered bodies. It's going to be all sorts of death that they are going to have to clean up, man. You're going to see Edomites out there throwing up, crying right scared to death from what they're seeing you know trouble because they know they're gonna have to be the ones to clean all of that up man okay and it shall stop the noses of the passengers that's how bad it's gonna smell and there shall and there shall they bury Gog and all his multitude and they shall call it the valley of Haman God in seven months shall the house of Israel be burying of them and they may cleanse the land uh, that they may cleanse the land and says yea all the people of the land shall bury them and it shall be to them of renown the day that I shall be glorified saith the Lord power and they shall sever out men of continual employment okay all called bondage man just like they had us in continual continual employment okay which also lets you know that we still in the land of our captivity because uh, us to have jobs what are we we employees right okay we uh, we don't get paid every day for our work all right we got to get paid weekly or bi-weekly and we get taxes taken out of our out of our pay man okay which lets you know that we are still in captivity to this day but they will be given continual employment all right so they're going to be working Hardcore bondage all day, you know, shit, all night. They might work 23 hours out of the day, man. Might get an hour of sleep. Might not get any sleep, you know. Esau knows the punishment that he's going to get, you know, deep down inside. You know, they try to act like they're not bothered, right? And that's all they pride, man. They think that they're going to rule forever. But they know deep down inside in their spirit that this is what the Heavenly Father has in store for them, man. And they shall sever out men of continual employment passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it, right? So they're going to have to uh, bury all of these dirty, all these um, dead bodies, man. Dead body parts, dead bodies, all the death that's going to be surrounding them. They're going to have to bury. That's going to be their first. That's going to be their first task, man. Okay. Cleaning up all of the dead bodies. And it says, uh, after the end of seven months, shall they search. And the passengers that pass through the land, when any seeth a man's bone, then shall he set up a sign by it till the buriers have buried it in the valley of Hamingad. Yeah, so that's what they're going to be doing, cleaning the earth, man, right? 
just like <laughs> just like the pig man <laughs> you know that's what they're gonna be clean, clean cleaning the garbage truck of the earth man just like a pig they're gonna be cleaning up man okay they're gonna be cleaning up man dead bodies man cleaning up everything you know that's gonna be their first assignment man let's get um Let's get Job. Let's go back to Job 20 real quick. Job 20. I'm going to start at 4. Yeah, right here. That's what I want. 4 through 9. And it says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. Okay? And this is talking about the end of Esau ultimately after that thousand years of hardcore bondage. Okay, this man is going to be eviscerated. All right, and this is what I love to call the great cookout, man. All right, because uh, the wicked will be no more uh, after this account takes place. Right, I'm gonna start at 15. And it says, uh, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Okay, Esau, these other nations as well. But uh, only Esau is going to be the one that's going to be uh, uh, done away with uh, permanently, man. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Yeah, we're going to get all of their possessions, all of their riches, everything that they have. And even in, And of course, most importantly, them, them themselves are going to be our possession. Okay? That's true reparations right there, man. Not money, not a promissory note, you know, not paper currency but them themselves, okay? And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, right? After a, a, you know, a long fire, that's, that's what's left, it's stubble, man. This is why Job, the 20th chapter said, your eyes shall see him no more, okay? Will not see this man anymore after this time right here after the Obadiah 1 and 18 the wicked okay Esau Edom the Edomites so-called white people will be no more man and this may get some people butt hurt that watch this video but it is what it is this is prophecy and this is prophecy that we are awaiting okay and it says and, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord hath spoken it, man. Yeah, that's the great cookout, man. That's the great cookout right there. That's what we're waiting for. But before all of this happens, right? Which, like I said, we're seeing what's going on with uh that test run, that test run today with the communications, with the phones. You know, nothing happened with my phone. So I don't know if anything happened to you brothers and sisters' phones, but nothing really happened to mine. And I got Boost Mobile, and I seen they was like fourth on the list as far as telephone companies. And it wasn't nothing wrong with my service today, okay? But there are a lot of people uh, saying that there was something wrong with their phones, right? But any, any, anyway, you know, this is that was just a test run, and it's about to get worse, man, okay? And... Uh, Revelation 12 and 12 is right around the corner because this man is going to come down having great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. And when those 
when the uh, you know the son of perdition, you know the man of sin is revealed. People are gonna see those horns come out of his forehead, and they're gonna know that he is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Shalom.